हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे आई मिस स्मिता दास नाउ आई टू टीच यू टुडे क्लास सेवेंथ बायोलॉजी द वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर टिश्यू एंड यू ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दैट इज सेल द स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनल यूनिट ऑफ द लिविंग बीइंग व्हिच इज कॉल्ड ए सेल लास्ट ईयर एंड दिस ईयर यू विल स्टडी द टिश्यू व्हिच इज ग्रुप ऑफ सिमिलर सेल्स of same origin means that is performing from the same place and doing the same functions i can say that the origin is same and the function is same so plant tissue and animal tissue both will study will cover here in this uh, video classes and now we'll go to start with this plant tissue all the higher plants they are having different types of tissue and their different origin and their different functions so basing of this capacity of division how they are dividing themselves and they are permanent or they are temporary the tissues are of meristematic tissue and permanent tissue now here is the picture is given that is meristematic tissue or you can say commonly it is called as meristem there are three types of meristem that in the picture you can find out that is apical meristem which is at the top level or shoot tip or root tip and the second one is lateral that is present below the bark bark means outer covering of the trunk and intracalary that tissue which is present at the node and internode node means the starting point of the leaf and internode is that is the distance between two nodes so there you will find out the next one is your permanent tissue permanent tissue means when they are lacking of division they are not dividing and they are of two types one is you can say is that is simple permanent tissue and complex permanent tissue so these categories that is i'll start that one simple permanent tissue which is of three types that is one is parenchyma collenchyma and sclerenchyma so parenchyma that is present in the suppose you can draw a leaf if i'll show that one the leaf the surface is having for this is the leaf and you will find out this parenchyma that is at the surface and this is the petiole where you will find out this one is the collenchyma and the sclerenchyma which is having the dead cell and that is present at the seed coat and they are having a different functions so the diagram is given here parenchyma and parenchyma tests tissues they are inter cellular spaces are free no intercellular fluids are present now you can say the next one that is it is storing the food also but this collenchyma you will find out that the intercellular spaces they are covered with lignin lignin means a sticky substance and which is present at the stalk of the leaf and its function is giving mechanical support mechanical support means you know that leaves and the branches they are having their own strength so that they are not uh, hampered to the climatic conditions next one is your Uh, sclerenchyma sclerenchyma is composed of very thick walled you can say that is of hexagonal shape hexagonal shape that means this one is having six side and this hexagonal shape that is present at the intercellular spaces that is dead cell or you can say that is wall of this uh, you can say seed coat and it is find out at the veins and veinlets veins and veinlets that is present on the leaf and the function is they are giving the mechanical strength to the plant next you can say that is a complex permanent tissue that is of two categories one is xylem and another is phloem when you are getting of xylem and phloem then these are the complex types of tissues and they are permanent type they are not able to divide themselves and these tissues they are present in the vascular bundle senior classes you will be studying about this vascular bundles and these vascular bundles that when you will 
cut a trunk you will find out this type of vascular bundle so inner one is xylem and outer one is phloem so xylem and phloem commonly known as vascular bundle and the differentiate between xylem and phloem that xylem helps in conducting of water and minerals from root to the leaf and phloem is conducting the food particles or what is prepared in the leaf to different parts or all the parts of the plant now this is more about the plant tissue now we will switch over to animal tissue and based upon the structure and function of this animal tissue now it is divided into four groups whether it is very complex because higher animals they are having all types of tissues in their body parts and already you know that different types of tissues combine together to perform a specific structure which is called as organ so each organ is having these types of tissue suppose you can take uh, brain you can take uh, the example of uh, heart it is also made up of muscular tissue i'll tell you the later one so all the types of tissue that is epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and nerve tissue so we'll go one by one epithelial tissue epithelial tissue means the tissue which is present or you can say always grown above the other tissue that means the covering of the uh, animal body you can say that is skin skin is coming under epithelial tissue and epithelial tissue are of three types simple squamous epithelial tissue then you can say cuboidal then you can say columnar now you can see the diagram that is tile shape when you are seeing your home that is giving a tile shape and it is very flat this is the structure of squamous epithelial tissue but when you will go to that one that the outer covering you can say chick cells and all these are location and uh, that is your function and structure it is given very well in the pdf you can find out this one but cuboidal uh, cuboidal one you will find out that is a cube shape and this is also that is present you can say this cuboidal they are like a isodiametric isodiametric means length breadth and height all three are same then columnar epithelial cell columnar means column shaped and this column shaped columnar epithelial cell that is a column shaped you can find out this one column shape that the uh, column and then you can come to the connective tissue connective tissue means the definition of connective tissue means it can connect within many tissue that means you can say that is uh, tendon ligament then you can say that is cartilage bone blood blood and lymph they are coming under the liquid connective tissue whereas bone cartilage ligament these are coming under solid connective tissue you can see this over here it is given adipose tissue adipose tissue means fat of uh, fat globules that is uh, stored in our body those who are fatty people and that their, their body that is adipose tissue is present and tendon which is the band of tough tissue which can attach to that one from muscle to the bones then cartilage the tough tissue which is bones and bones you can see your elbow joint you can find out there first bone to the second arm then other one then the bones that is hard connective tissue blood which is helping in transportation the nourishment to all the parts then come to the next type of tissue that is muscular tissue they are of three types one is you can say striated or voluntary muscle then second one is called as unstriated or involuntary muscle and third one is called as cardiac muscle but the muscles they are found every part of our body according to the location we can say the first one you can see the band that is striated means this type of striated muscles are there different types of band. bands you will find out uh, uh, then second one you can see that is a spindle uh, shape body spindle means you can see here that is a tapering type you can find out here this is one nucleus and both the side it is tapering that is spindle shape and the third one is Uh, that is a very important muscular tissue which is called as cardiac muscle cardiac means that is related to heart and heart muscle is made up of so this muscle uh, muscular tissue is having both the types of uh, you can see here many branches why these branches are there because these branches are there so that 
the heart at a time can expand and at a time it can contract according to their function all the uh, cells and the tissue they are modified okay then come to the uh, nervous tissue nervous tissue means nerves they are very much you know that uh, that is imp uh, you can get uh, from the outer world all these uh, impulse or you can say all the information whatever you are getting from outer world or inside the body that can be sent to the brain as well as spinal cord so its uh, unit is known as neuron and single unit the diagram is given here neuron neuron is having three uh, parts one is the first part is uh, that is you can see here the smaller branches that is dendrons and the body is known as cyton and the longer branch that is there is axon and the last one that is you can see that one neuron is connected to another neuron to transport this impulses and the location you can find out these are uh, present in the brain and spinal cord and the structure is already given here three parts that is uh, dendron the smaller branches and the long branch is called as axon and the cyton is that is the main body and the function is it is responsible for transformation of all these you can see any of this uh, uh, you can uh, get that one any of this pain pressure or you can say heat or whatever that information that is response and stimuli you can uh, we can get all the things by the spinal cord as well as the brain so these are the main important tissues of our human body today i told you about the tissues of plant as well as animals and this is for today only thank you and have a nice day